Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are going to study half and quarter hours. And here I drew a clock face and I also divided it into four parts, like this and this. Now those red numbers over here are for the minute hand. You remember how the minute hand pointing here would mean five minutes past something. 5, 10, 15, and so on, they go all the way up to 60 minutes. And we can see that 60 minutes divided into four parts, each part here would be 15 minutes. And then this part from here to here is another 15 minutes, and another, and another. So there's four times 15 minutes in an hour. And one hour being 60 minutes, half an hour being 30 minutes, then a quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. And now we have two expressions that we use when telling the time that have the word quarter, quarter of an hour. And they could be, for example, a quarter past three, a quarter past 11, okay? Or a quarter till some hour, a quarter till 12, a quarter till six. And in both cases, they mean 15 minutes. I wrote a quarter past five. So that's a particular time. It means simply 15 minutes past five. It is the same as 15 past five. And let's write it also using the hours and minutes way. You remember that? 15 minutes past five hours. So we write five, the hours first and the minutes last, five, 15. A quarter till nine means simply 15 minutes till nine, because this quarter means a quarter hour, 15 minutes, 15 minutes till nine. So I would write here 15 till nine. Now, how do we write that using the hours and minutes? Wait, 15 till nine. It's not yet nine o'clock, right? So the hours are still just eight hours and so many minutes. And now let's look back at the clock over here. 15 minutes till something will mean the minute hand is pointing here. There's 15 minutes still to go. So it means 45 minutes for this way. 8.45 is the same as 15 till 9, is the same as a quarter till 9. Now with these clocks, I want you to tell the time in two or even three different ways. What time is it? Oh, Matthew knows. Okay. Yep. This is the hour hand. It is seven, seven hours, 15 minutes. Another way to say it, use the past, something past something, 15 minutes past seven. And then using the word quarter, a quarter past seven. How about here? What time is it? Now you can see the minute hand has exactly 15 minutes to go till the next hour. So that makes a quarter till something. Let me write here a quarter till, till what hour? The hour hand is soon going to be at 11. Oh, it is the same as 15 till 11. And then one more way the hours and minutes. It's not yet 11 hours, so we have 10 hours. And the minutes over here, 45, 10.45. One more, try this on your own. Again, the minute hand has the same 15 minutes to go. So we have a similar situation, a quarter till one. 15 till one or 12 hours and 45 minutes, right? Now over here, we will change this expression of time into the hours and minutes way. Quarter till 12. A quarter till 12, it's not yet 12 o'clock. It's not yet 12 hours, so it is still 11 hours. And then the quarter till means 15 till just like we studied already, it will be 45 minutes. 
How about this one? A quarter past three. That's actually easier. We have three hours. And then quarter means 15 minutes. 15 minutes past three or 3.15. Now the next ones are written in the hours and minutes way. So let's change them to the other way. Using past or till. This one here does 45 minutes. That means 15 minutes till, right? So let's use our new word quarter till 11, right? Till the next hour. 4.30, okay? Here we are not gonna use till, we're gonna use past. 30 is half an hour. 30 minutes is half an hour. This is half past. Four, and you learned that in first grade, remember? 11.15. This is something past something, right? Past 11 hours and a quarter again. A quarter past 11. And this last one, 45 minutes. Again, we can use a quarter till, till one, yep. Now we're here. Sheila's piano lesson starts at the quarter past six and lasts half an hour. When does it end? Oh, Math is asking, why is it not saying math is piano lesson? Oh, I didn't know you wanted to play piano. Oh, you want to now? Okay, that's good. I can teach you, Matthew. I love playing piano too. But this is, well, okay. I'll change it, okay? Math is first. Piano lesson starts at a quarter past six and lasts half an hour. When does it end? Let's change this time to the hours and minutes way. Quarter past, quarter is 15 minutes. So this will be 6.15, right? And then it lasts 30 minutes, okay? Half an hour is 30 minutes. So now we have the 15 minutes and 30 minutes. We will add those. What's 15 plus 30? 45, yes. So we will get six hours and 45 minutes. So it ends at 6.45, which is also 15 minutes till seven, which is also a quarter till seven. Okay, well done with this lesson.